Hello friends, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. We all make notes in some form or the other. How about if your Android device could hear as you speak out your notes? Sounds good. Few days back, I hit upon an app that offered rich features. I used it for few days and was so impressed by the design that I thought to make a video tutorial for others to discover and benefit. Friends, I am talking about Easy Notes Fast Organizer by Alexander Madani. Without further loss of time, let me share the best 5 features of Easy Notes. You may be driving, busy going in between classes or having a lunch break at work. Don't have lot of time to type. With Easy Notes, user only needs to tap on this mic button and speak out something like I need to buy one dozen apples and six bananas on my way back home, comma, if apple is not available, go for some oranges instead. As you talk, you can even speak the word comma or period and Easy Note adds the appropriate punctuation between the sentences. One can always go back to the editor and expand later. Another key differentiator for Easy Notes is its rich text formatting. Select the portion that you want to format. For now, I am selecting a random text. Choose from a wide range of paragraph formatting options like bold, italics, underline, font size, font style, text color or text background highlight. You can even insert an image and perform photo capture. Fix a reminder for a note by doing a long press. There are many unique functions here. You may explore as you use the app. Set calendar reminder. Just fix the reminder time and save it. You are done. Now I will talk about how to delete notes. For that let me make some rough notes. If you wish to delete a note, simply swipe it off the screen. Easy Notes is able to archive up to last swiped 10 notes by date timestamp. Then at a later time, with a single tap on the back arrow at the top, was the user can instantly recover up to their last 10 swiped notes. Keep in mind that every 11th swipe gesture of a note card clears out the previous existing 10. Don't confuse this with app trash bin which stores every swipe note indefinitely for a future disaster recovery. For that, go to trash bin from this folder icon. And if you need to clear all the items in the trash bin rather than selectively swiping, you can do that in one go by this menu at the top right and then clear storage. Fifth feature that I found useful is manage your weekly to-do list by using handy cards, easy to-do cards. Second icon from the top left, make cards of to-do list. I use this every fortnight when I go out to buy grocery. Let me type a few things. Tap on this plus icon, grocery, add your items here. Let me add a couple of more items and come back in a second. If this is my grocery need, I can move an item up or down by doing a long press. Let me take salt up. If I buy a particular item, I do simply tap on it and it comes at the bottom. If I tap on egg, that also comes at the bottom with a strike through. This is your need. You can go for multiple to-do cards list here. This app has a free and a pro version. I have given link of both the same in the description below. Rich text formatting, voice based commands and other features definitely point towards perfect mobility. Do share your experience about this app in comments below. I will look forward to hear from you. If you found this tutorial good, give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links that you see in front of your screen. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.